Lubeck is not close to anything. It's the easternmost part of the U.S. When you are in town, your phone tells you you're in Canada. And when you drive up here, you realize how big Maine is. Lubeck is one of the most peaceful places on the planet. It's a step back in time, and the beauty here far surpasses anything I've ever seen. I have to tell some people, we call PFAs, people from away, but it's a very tight, close-knit community. Everybody stick together. I've never heard of anybody rock climbing in this area. That's a new one on me. <laughs> I definitely have a goal to do a lot of the best routes in New England. I've been climbing here for 20 years, and I think I've done a number of the best routes, and this is definitely one that qualifies for that. I grew up the son of a climber, but in a sense, I didn't really start climbing till college. I think this route, the Maniac, has a bit of an allure in New England, especially if you've climbed a few of the harder routes. It's funny, the route is kind of directly on top of this hiking trail and, you know, in order to set your anchor at the top, you're kind of tying off some random fence posts. There's really no other routes around. You kind of got to warm up on the route and the bolts are a little bit more spaced apart than your average sport climb. There's such little info about this route. Typically when you go on Mountain Project or online or Instagram, you find all you need to know about a route. This is like a black hole on the internet. It was done in 1984, and at the time it was one of the only sport routes in the country and possibly the hardest climb in the world. There was a guy, Dan Goodwin, he was working at the Blueberry Fields, and he was, as far as I know, the first person to really climb on this route. He called it 514A. This was a day, there was no social media, there was no internet, and people just questioned it. I think in, in large part just because they wondered how could this guy that we've never heard of have done this thing, but it's just so unique to be up here, you know, right on the water. It's pretty impressive that he was able to find it and, if nothing else, allow other people to climb on this route. It took almost 20 years for it to have a second ascent. Alex Honnold did the second ascent, then Hazel Finley. My friend Peter, I think, did the fourth ascent, and I think it's been done one other time. I think for me personally, I probably don't really belong in the realm of those names, but it's cool to try. That's a pretty elite class of people, and I'm just some kid out here trying to do the best I can. Basically starts out as maybe easy 511 with some good gear placements, some cams. And then it just kind of slowly builds at maybe 40 feet, 12C section or so. And then you get a pretty good rest. At a rest, you're kind of just composing yourself, trying to get your heart rate down, kind of just try to stay in the moment and let your instincts work out for you. You leave the rest and you kind of work up into this slopey rail feature that has a few pretty good spots and you clip a bolt. And once you clip the bolt, you're kind of committed to just punching it through until you get to that really next good hold. spaced, so if you blow it in the last move, you take a pretty big fall. I definitely messed up my hands a little bit at this, the first crux. There. Kind of tried something a little different that I thought was going to be work out well, but didn't end up being the best idea. Hopefully, get the rain to stop here. We have another try tonight. If not, let's see what it looks like tomorrow.
For me personally, I'm not competitive. I just want to push my limit. I like just trying to find my ceiling. There's always going to be someone that will warm up in your project. But for me, I just want to push myself. A lot of times the difference between success and failure on, on something like this is not that huge and you're only looking for little fractions of extra energy when the time comes. You just need to commit to the sequence and just kind of attack. There will always be people that are far better than you and there will always be people that you are able to climb a little bit better than and I think that's true in almost any activity but I think it's really enjoyable to find something that pushes you a lot and work really hard and to see if it's possible. For me, it was cool to come back and revisit it and just kind of go to battle for a couple of days trying it. Get super close. Managed to get up it today and yeah, it makes the drive home a little easier. Wish Jay would have yeah. had a little more success, but it's the way it goes sometimes. And yeah, totally. We'll be back and get it done soon. Pretty hungry <laughs> to come back up here. <laughs>